All right, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Enthusiast Experiment. I am your host, Mike, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Jawbone Up Move, and this will be a re-unboxing. I have used the product for a little bit. I try and do that to uh, give you guys an honest assessment of my opinion, um, and today it'll be based on this. So we'll go through the quick unboxing, um, some of the things that I like and dislike about it, and we'll move on from there. So cool. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. So packaging, pretty simple, straightforward, nothing to really harp on here. They did a pretty good job. You can see all the things that it tracks, steps, distance, intensity, workouts, types of activity, idle time, active time, calories burned. You can track all your meals and stuff with that. Uh, any streaks that you're doing, goals you're achieving, milestones, averages, trends, and it also does your sleep. And you can buy a wristband separately, which we'll get into in a second here. On the back, gives you a good look at the interface. That is one of the positives I feel uh, Jawbone brings to the table. They have a great looking app um, and you know they kind of pride themselves on that and I think they should. It gives you another breakdown of some of the uh, benefits of this device here, activity tracking, food tracking, smart coach, and LED display. And then on the side, uh, some of the specs. So Bluetooth smart, uh, LED has the accelerometer, battery life of uh, four plus months, which if you can remember my review of the Misfit is a little bit longer, so that's interesting. Um, and then on the bottom, just some serial information and the top there, I've already cracked it open. And we'll go ahead and do that again so you guys can see how it all comes apart. I like the little ribbon design here because it does make this part of it extremely easy. We'll go ahead and put this off to the side. And then just a pretty plain packaging for you. This is in here like so. It was tucked in here when I originally unboxed it. And then everything else that it comes with is here. Instructions and in here was on the back of the actual device itself with the battery that it comes with, which is again already inside the device. And so pretty plain and simple packaging and things that are included. Again, not a problem there. That's perfectly awesome. And the device itself will give you a clear look here. Let it focus a little bit. Still learning on the camera stuff. I appreciate you guys for sticking with me. Um, hopefully we'll be upgrading that sooner than later. Got the Jawbone logo on the back. And it is on the clasp, which again, if you guys have seen my Misfit video, this is my preferred method of a small activity tracker like this. I do wear watches. Um, so for me, well, it just happens to match today. I promise I didn't do that on purpose. Um, but yeah, so for me, this makes sense. Throwing it in my pocket, throwing it on my jeans or my pants or belt buckle, something like that keeps it out of the way. And for nighttime stuff, it's just as easy to throw it on your, you know, pajamas, pants, boxers, whatever you tend to wear. Um, if you don't wear anything, you're going to have to get the wristband, sorry. Um, which brings me to that curious decision by Jawbone to not include the wristband. Um, for some people, that's that could be a deal breaker where the Misfit does include both devices. So you can wear it on your wrist or like this. This does not. It only comes with the belt clip. And the wristband is sold separately, I believe, is for like 10 bucks or something. So I understand the business decision why to do that because you make a little more money on accessory sales. But I don't understand why you would do that when your competition selling for the same price does include that. Um, but again, for me, not a deal breaker because I prefer this method. And I do feel like they nailed it, this clasp, way better than the Misfit one. It feels a lot more robust and redundant. Um, the design is definitely... A little different. Some people kind of complain about that. I don't. It's not really meant to be shown off in my opinion. It's something super small that's going to be hiding on my pants anyway, so I don't really mind. I can see how it's a little childish or Barbie-ish or toyish, but that doesn't bother me. Uh, you can see you press it once. It gives you the type of activity it is and then the amount that you've done. I've not worn this today, so that's why it's so low. You tap it twice. Uh, this leads me to another problem. There you go, that should be the time, although it's incorrect. But so hour, minute, and then if you were to hold it, I think if I do this right, switches it over to sleep mode. So this is another disadvantage to me compared to the Misfit. You do have to switch it back and forth between sleep and awake. So the first day that I had it, I was probably awake over an hour before I realized when I opened my phone and opened the app that it was still logging sleep because I had not pressed and held and waited for it to switch over to activity mode, I guess, again, which obviously is my fault, user error. However, when there's products on the market that are a lot more intuitive, to me, uh, it starts to become less excusable, I guess, for that much interaction. And I think you can do it through the app as well. I apologize for my ignorance. 
So that may make things a little bit easier. Again, one of my biggest disappointments, as with the Misfit, oh, man, these activity, activity trackers. So it does not log your sleep with um, Health Book or Health Apple's Health app. So you can log it through the Jawbone app and do all of your stuff that way. But when it comes to synchronizing all of your data, if you want to use Apple's platform, you're kind of out of luck, although it can record steps, which is what frustrates me the most, because if you can do one thing, you should be able to do another. And I think their logic with this, again, is to buy their more expensive bracelet version for a couple hundred bucks. And that, I think, can actually write sleep to the Apple, Apple software. So uh, it's kind of frustrating with both of these products. And it's the same frustration is that they, they don't allow you to do that. Um, sorry, there's not a lot much more to look at. Uh, I'll see if I can try and get out of here. It's kind of a pain while I'm still talking, um, which is not, not a problem. You don't have to worry about this slipping out. I guess that's a benefit over the Misfit because that is so easy to get out. Some people um, lose that device, but this is a little more difficult. I'll leave it out for now. But you can see there it is. The back, again, you, know, you just take a quarter or something like that, pop it off with Motion X and the little dots here. Let's see if we can focus on that. This little dot, come on now. Sorry, again with the camera. Maybe it'll decide to do it here in just a second. So this top dot means it's locked and the one over here to the left is what you would screw it to to pop it open. So I like, I like their attention to detail. Again, this is something Jawbone gets right. Unfortunately, just some of the other things to me that are very detail oriented aren't, aren't taken care of. Um, it does a good job of logging your steps. Uh, it does a pretty awesome job of logging your sleep. Again, one of the reasons I wanted to sync it. Um, and it's a great price. I mean, for 50 bucks and you're looking to get into the activity tracker market, this thing's pretty cool. It does say that it is water splash proof, where I believe the Misfit says that it is water resistant or you know waterproof. Water resistant, I think, is the term that they use. Um, so you could probably take a shower with this. I don't know that I would um, personally, but that, that's an option. Um, comes in crazy colors. That's cool if you're into that. For me, this is the one that I just happened to get if you watched my Kevin Rose uh, quarterly unboxing video. This is the one that came with that. And after, again, spending a little time with it, I'll give you guys an accurate uh, assessment or my review. Um, I don't know, guys. It's completely up to you. Me, personally, I would skip it. And if I were to pick this over the Misfit, I would probably go with the Misfit just due to the it being the same exact price, comes with the bracelet and the belt strap buckle, a little bit longer battery life, same functionality. Um, Misfit still does have a pretty slick looking app. It's not quite as robust as Jawbone's. However, Jawbone has multiple up apps. So be aware of that too, because the one I first downloaded did not work with this. You had to download one that only works with their cheaper devices. Again, kind of, kind of feels crappy that you just can't use the same app. But hey, that's just me and my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. If you have an activity tracker that you're super in love with, I'm still kind of waiting because you know what? My phone does what this does, so I don't need this. So for me, it's kind of uh, a redundancy that I don't need in my life. Um, but your phone might not have those capabilities built in yet. And, you know, maybe worth checking out. Again, for 50 bucks, you could try it and not really worry about the expense of it. It's definitely not cheap, but it's not as expensive as these were even just a year or two ago. So... Maybe it's worth checking out. I might even do a giveaway in the future. Um, we'll see about that. Let me know what you guys think about that idea. And I'll link the, you know, all the, the site information and everything below as well so you guys can dig a little bit deeper with a little more analytical information and kind of you know the bullet points and stuff that they want you to know about the product. I appreciate you all tuning in and checking it out and being an enthusiast. Uh, let me know if there's anything that you would like to see, just trying to keep things interesting and varied, um, showing you some of the things that I'm passionate about or you know, I think you should check out on your own. Um, be sure to click subscribe below, please. Like the video. And again, you know, any comments or anything, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer those as well. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great weekend. Again, thanks for being an enthusiast and a part of the enthusiast experiment. Take it easy.